I've got my SM7B plugged into channel one of my audio interface. I'm using what's called a cloud lifter box that essentially adds gain to my signal. It requires phantom power. So on my audio interface, I will turn on the 48 volt phantom power and I will turn up the gain until I get a good signal. With record enable turned on and the inspector tab open, you should be able to see a signal of your instrument within the inspector tab. I always aim for between negative 12 and negative 18 on the meter. This will be a healthy enough signal to not clip. If you don't see this sort of signal, you might need to check your cables, your routing options, and also turn up the gain knob on your audio interface. Now, if you're hearing any delay in your headphones, you might want to disable software monitoring. Just click the blue speaker icon. Press the space bar to test your click track volume and then play a little to see how it compares. I'll turn my metronome down by opening the mix tab and clicking this button just above the main output fader. I found that sending the click track volume to something like negative 12 or negative 16 is plenty fine. I'll move my playhead to the start of the session and then click the record button to get started. Mm -hmm. 